what is up everybody and welcome back to another farming simulator 19 stream today we're about to mow some grass and uh let's go ahead and get into it so let's give a shout out to our sponsors sam jp4 and rolls you guys are amazing thank you so much and shout out to all you subscribers you guys are awesome uh but let's go ahead and get out here i'm just getting off patrol uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and take my demon over here and park it up and we're gonna grab our new ram 2500 going to head over that way real fast well hopefully you guys are having a great Monday I appreciate you guys coming by and watching or Tuesday sorry it's Tuesday now I'm losing track of the week well let's head over here and uh, we're going to pick up our equipment uh, we have two houses that we're about to mow uh, which is to have some big lawns I mean some large large um, they have a lot of land uh, so one of the houses I'm going to is one of our fellow police officers out here. So we're going to head over this way. And I'm going to get over here to my garage. And we are going to go ahead and open the garage up. God, I love that demon. You said what PC do I have, Ethan? Uh, so I have my PC custom built for me. So I don't really... I know I have a 970 GTX graphics card, an i7 um, processor, and so on and so forth. Um, Alright, let me go ahead and put my demon inside. Park this baby on up. Corey Hawkins in the house. How you doing, brother? Go ahead and park this baby up over here by our new Ram 2500. Check that baby out. Got a little laggy right there. Let me pull this up. It's hard to stop this thing. There we go. Perfect. And lock everything down. All right, top out. Check out the Ram 2500 right here. This thing is a beast right here. I love it. I absolutely love it. I am so glad to have this on the farm or in the game. It, it just it's amazing as you guys know we love our rams got the ram 3500 dually i've always had this since it came out money mod no i don't use no money mod <laughs> so we got the we got it in the all black as you guys see you get uh different wheels on it so right here we just have the um regular wheels and then over here we have the custom wheels Gotta love it. All right. Um. So what we're gonna do is so mow some uh, grass today. Um. What trailer should I take? Do I need, really need any of this equipment? We got our weed eaters, our blowers. I really don't need none of that though. I got my weed eaters on my other trailer. So we got our X marks right here. Um. Let me go ahead and hook my truck up. I'm not gonna take this one today. I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Oops. I grabbed the wrong. I parked, <laughs> I parked my damn ram in the middle and it keeps putting me in these other ones. Here, let me pull this up. There we go. You have a YouTube channel, Corey? Right, let's go ahead and park this up right over here. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to grab this ram right here. Oh my god. God is just so sexy. Absolutely love it. Sounds amazing. Alright, let's go ahead and back this up to my other trailer. And we're gonna get some mowing done today. Perfect. Alright, we'll go ahead and head out of the garage. I'll shut the doors. No no one coming in here messing with my vehicles or my equipment. Let's go ahead and park this right here. Ugh. There we go. Alright, let's close the garage. Make sure it closes all the way. Perfect. And let's head over here to our first yard. GT Gamer, how you doing, man? Appreciate you coming by. Did I grind? No. <laughs> I definitely didn't grind for all this money. So, we are going to go ahead and head over to these houses. God, there's so many places out here that need their grass cut. But we're going to head over here. So the first house is like a mansion. 
Uh, the second house is one of our fellow police officers in this town. Uh, so he put me on to his neighbor and him. Just making money on the side. Let's check the inside of the truck out. Oh, looks amazing. Wow. Holy crap. Shout out to the creator of this. Looks freaking amazing. The gamer for life in the house. What is up, brother? As you guys see, we got a house being built right here. There's already houses that were built up here. Their driveways suck. Let's go ahead and pull up here. There we go. Keeps connecting to my damn controller. Alright. Look at this grass. Holy crap, it is long. Alright, let me go ahead and pull up here. Got this nice old house right here. Alright, we'll park this up right here. Go ahead and lower my ramps. I'm gonna start pulling our mowers off. I love how we have weed eaters on the trailer now. That's pretty cool. Alright, start this baby up. We'll pull it off and then I'll go get my stand behind. How did I get all the money, uh, money mod, uh, hack? I got a tutorial video that shows you guys how to do that. Because you really can't make no money uh, mowing grass. So, I mean, I have to put my little money cheats in here. Which most of the time I don't let you guys see that. I take the screen off, but for some reason my uh, little HUD thing's not working. My little custom menu. I'm doing good, the gamer for life. How you doing, brother? Let's go ahead and pull this off. Let me know if everything's good, the audio is good. If the vehicles are too loud, let me know. I would definitely fix it for you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and start mowing. I'm going to go ahead and hit this middle right here. The faster we get done, the faster we get our money. Try to make it look as legit as possible. There we go. Hey, but I appreciate you all coming by. You guys are amazing. Really appreciate it. Just out here having a little bit of fun. Probably going to do GTA tomorrow or 5N if they get a patrol going. Then we'll also probably um, do American Truck Simulator. So I definitely want to get done. I need to make some more money on there. I'm actually in debt on ATS. I got a loan from the bank for $400,000. Just so I get a couple other trucks. And yeah. Now I'm in debt. And I don't like being in debt. So I'm trying to drive a lot of miles to get myself out of debt. So we definitely need to do that again. I got myself a new Peterbilt. So I got two Peterbilts. Two Volvos. No, three Peterbilts. Two Volvos. A Mack truck. And uh, I think a Kenworth now. I'm not too sure if I still have the Kenworth. Let's get around the house first. Once we get around there, we should be good. We're setting up a landscaping shop. That's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun. Here soon, I'm gonna set this up where um, people come in here on multiplayer. And get a lawn care crew going. I just saw that Ram 2500 come in the game, and I was just so ready to get in here and get this done. All right, I'm gonna do one more outline of the house, and then we'll pull. We'll get our uh, zero turn out. And we'll go ahead and start mowing all this grass. As you guys see, they have a lot of land. I wish I was this rich. around the house one more time and uh, then uh, we'll start getting our stuff done so if you guys look over there at that red house over there um, that's where our uh, fellow partner in this town uh, lives and I gotta go over there and mow his grass so we're almost done right here it's early in the morning too love cutting grass in the morning 
Alright, let me go ahead and park this up. Dang, what do they got? Lamborghini? Check that Lamborghini out. Ballin. Yeah, nice house too. Alright, let's start mowing. All right, let's go and fire fire this up. This is uh, the standard default map that you guys get. I forget what it's called, Ravenport or something. All right, let's go and start this baby up. Let's get to work. So I'm gonna start over here because we gotta cut all the way over by his house, anyways, past his house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. It shouldn't take us too long. Turn my mower on. Shouldn't take us too long. I'll try to keep the line straight. So we'll start at the corner of this house. Get every single piece. There we go. Start at the corner of the house and we'll start making our lines straight through. And just continue on. So they got a long driveway too. So this is a lot of land right here. We're making good money though. RP style. Yeah, this is Ravenport map. It's a standard map. I put custom buildings in here and everything. Again, this map for you guys in your game is just going to be a field. Um, but I changed it all up. Put a driveway here and all that. Put, put new grass in. I think it was a wheat field. They were both wheat fields. I wish we could actually cut it like all the way down where you don't see nothing sticking up and it's just smooth that would look amazing ghost rider semi that's awesome man and the navy seals definitely have to go check that out How are you guys doing today? Did you guys have a good day? Had a blessed day. A beautiful day. The weather felt just right, too. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. Perfect. But where I live, I know winter is on its way, and it's coming to get us. It's going to get us, guys. Try to keep straight lines. I'm definitely not going up that mountain right there. Kiss my butt going over to this like almost to the tree and we will stop right here at the tree god look at all this grass we gotta cut let's go first person back up right here as long as we keep going we gotta kind of take it slow because I don't want to leave patches in the grass that makes it where I have to go back and fix it and then that will mess our lines up but it's looking amazing. I love cutting grass. I'll tell you, you put some music on, cut some grass, just smell it, and just enjoy it. It's just like, it's the best thing in the world, to be honest. Especially if you had like a bad day. If you had a bad day and you go cut your grass, especially if you got all kinds of grass like this, it just changes your mood. This is some music, just jam out. Get you a nice little lemonade. Get you a Red Bull. It gives you wings. Rappy, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for coming by and watching. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this, please do me that one favor. Smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Because you know I love it when you guys smash that like button. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> God, I'm messing my lines up. I'm trying to look at chat and uh, mow some grass. It's like texting and mowing. New emergency light bar for your truck. That's awesome, man. I like the little light bar that I can put on my Volvo. Turn around right here. I'm definitely loving that new Ram 2500. 
Uh, you're probably going to see that truck on every single next video that I do. That's my favorite truck in real life. Like, I want it in real life, but I can't afford it. But it, it, there ain't nothing wrong with having, like, goals. Set yourself a goal up and try to accomplish that goal. Get to your, uh... God, it's getting harder and harder to get up this little hill right here. But, I mean, not, it's, it's a goal, but more of a dream be honest because them trucks are so expensive I don't make a lot of money so I mean but who knows maybe one day never say never right I'll tell you this much I saw a Hellcat today because I work at a dealership most of you guys know that and uh, I work at a Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram dealership and this Hellcat came in today, and my favorite color is red. As you guys can tell, every truck that I basically use is red. Um, and it came in, and it was all red with the black stripes on it. It just looked amazing. I would love to have that, too. Just, that's all I want is a Hellcat. Um, Hellcat Dodge Charger with black stripes on it, like racing stripes. And then um, a Ram 2500. That's all I need in life. Oh, don't forget the X Mark mower. Gotta have that too. God, I didn't realize how much grass this was. I thought I'd be in and out. I mean, we're getting most of it done, but I still gotta mow his grass. If you guys look over there, his police vehicle is in his front yard. He's got that police wrangler. and get around this tree real fast. I don't want to mess my lines up. Come on, baby. Let's get over here around the driveway. Or the beginning of the driveway. It's kind of steep over here, so i got to be careful. Grass got so tall, it's growing in the road. There we go. All right, we got around the front of the driveway. I'm about to charge them a lot for this. Got me climbing mountains and stuff in my X mark. Let me get out of this view. Let's go in this view. Dang, they're going all out, the gamer for life. I don't like too many lights on my truck. Then beacons on ATS are just, they look, I mean, they look amazing, but they're also annoying. You see them shining off of everything. The thing I love the most about ATS is that I could put my neon lights inside my uh, Volvo. That was awesome. I gotta do another uh, peak ribbon um, breast cancer awareness tribute on here soon. So we'll probably do that next. Cause I got, I have to do that. As you guys know, it's breast cancer awareness month. Guys, kick that cancer's butt. I'll tell you that much. Another thing that I found out, it's domestic violence awareness month. I found that out like a couple weeks ago. It's crazy. October is a crazy month. You guys uh, know what you're going to be for Halloween? You were in that fire department? Hey, this grass is looking so good. Like, look at it. You could tell, like, where I've cut and everything. And it, it's looking amazing. Even the birds are landing down trying to get them some fresh worms. So, 
looking pretty good too. This this mower has like a weird cut, so if you look at it, it like it kind of goes in every once in a while. Which I'm not moving too much when I do that, but I don't know. It has a weird cut, but it's it's still fun to have in the game. I mean, it's better than nothing. So shout out to the creator of this pack. I think uh, they have the grasshopper too. It's the, I think that's what they call it, the grasshopper. I forget what the other mower is. It's a stand behind. You're gonna make a semi truck stop on here? Hey, that would be pretty cool, man. That would be pretty cool because there's Peterbilts, there's Mack trucks. Um, I think there's a couple Kenworths too. There's not too many semis though. But that would be pretty cool. It just said, the thing is, unless you have, like, a really good PC, um, like, once you start putting too many mods together, it starts lagging out. I tried to make me a dealership, and, yeah, I couldn't even make the video because it lagged my whole game out. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see me doing 26 frames per second. That's just boring. But I had a hell of a, a dealership set up. And I had, like, 30 cars out there. It was crazy. I try to come out with like all kinds of different videos for you guys. It's a lot of fun. Like just doing different stuff. Like the last stream that we were doing was login. Uh, we did that multiplayer. Oh, let me grab a drink. Hey, there's Andreas. We were playing the Speak of the Devil. We were playing multiplayer with Andreas on login. Yeah, I just got in here and uh, started. Cause uh, we got the new um, Ram 3500. Let me let me turn my mower off. I'm gonna go over here and show you this, Andreas. Yo, I am loving this Ram truck. This is gonna be on our logging map. Hopefully, um, shout out to Ada Modding. Um, if Ada Modding comes in here and you end up seeing this dude, try to put a if you can, cause he always puts the plows on the all the trucks that I love. Um, but I wonder if he could put a plow on this sexy beast do a plowing video with this plow some snow baby god this thing is just so beautiful I mean we got let's see so we have the Ram 3500 dually that we used on the logging map which is this is one of my favorite trucks too um, oh let me switch out of that and then we have we have the Ram uh, 2500 right here the same truck just different wheels on it and it's all black and then I love my little custom uh, lawn care cage look at this we got le uh, weed eaters extension cords um, shovels gas cans all kinds of stuff that's pretty cool and you guys know I ain't ever gonna give up this Dodge Demon right here I've actually driven one of these in real life a Dodge Demon there's only 3,000 um, 3,000 some odd number of these made. I actually got the privilege to drive one. It's pretty cool. I love it. Alright, but let's get back to it. Alright, let's get back to mowing. Took a break right there. Got us a little drink. Shut off the truck. Time to get back mowing. Me15 OG in the house. What is up, brother? Appreciate you coming by. Andreas, yeah, you gotta love it, man. That thing is sexy. That's like a seventy thousand dollar truck right there. No joke. Maybe sixty, seventy thousand dollars. All right. I think we were heading back up. I don't want to mess my lines up, so let me get out of the grass. We're getting closer to my buddy's house over there. Let me try to clear all this out right here. Mow along their driveways. Yes, Andreas, we definitely need to get in here and do a multiplayer uh, lawn care video. That would be a lot of fun. Because I remember when I was on console and I used to watch people that were um, on PC. And I think it was like FS17 uh, where they were doing it. But they like set up a whole lawn care like crew, and they all went out and did lawn care. That I thought it was the coolest thing ever. 
I thought it was the coolest thing ever, man. We got to do that. All right, there we go. We got around the driveway right here. So let's head back up this. Guys, let me know if this audio is good. I want the vehicles being too loud for you guys. Sorry, I was looking at chat. I just messed my cut up. Oh uh, yeah, shout out to you, get the gamer for life. You feeling better, brother? And how's your dog Angel doing? Alright, we're almost done with the middle of this field. Still got a lot more to go. I mean this ain't no easy job, I'll tell you guys that much. Imagine having a whole crew though. Like six of us in here. Two of us to get the outline of the houses. Um, two of us to go to go like get the middle of the field, and then the other two getting each side of the houses. So one to my right and one all the way to my left. We'd have this freaking yard done in no time. What's that? That's one bad thing. Unless you buy your own mower and you have your own time, like a lot of free time. Um, that, that's a bad thing about when like more wealthier people buy like houses with a lot of land is nine times out of ten you're gonna probably have to pay a company to uh, maintain that land for you and you definitely don't want to buy a uh, bunch of land that has trees I mean unless you don't care and it's private property in the county and city don't want to find you for it but if you get one with a lot of trees out where I live and like fall hits you'll just have leaves everywhere and I definitely don't want to pick up a bunch of leaves in my yard especially this big of a yard imagine like 15 trees in this um, yard you know how many leaves they would have to pick up a lot I'd rather hire a company just to do it and that's just the lazy part of me I'll mow my own grass I'm not picking up the leaves they take forever Which, I mean, you could still do it with your mower. You just get the bagging system. But look at this. We're almost done. Look at the bird. Look at him. Over here trying to find us some fresh worms. Get out of here. Oh, I can't do it next. After this, I got to get off of here and go ahead and go to bed I gotta go to work I'll be at work at 6 a.m. brother staying up late tell you the truth you guys don't know how long I've been trying to get this stream together so um, I really don't know what happened I don't know if my windows messed up or what um, but it kicked me out of my main account so I had to create a new account and move folders back over and um, I swear, it seems like it never ends. I have too much bad luck. Too much bad luck. But, I mean, I switched it over and now I'm on a, another profile on my PC. Which, the guy that built my PC, I'm going to have him check it out. And I get back on my main profile. But hopefully the stream and everything's okay. It should all be the same. I put it all back to the settings that I'm used to. Uh, so it should all be the same. Who is that police uh, Jeep Wrangler? Ooh, it's looking good. Smelling good, looking good, feeling good. Dang, that bird just like nose dived into the ground. Eight twenty in the morning, guys. I started mowing this grass early. Uh, next video, yes. Definitely, Andreas. I'd love to get in here and get some multiplayer doing some uh, lawn care. But we need to do plowing also. 
plow some snow. Tomorrow I might be doing ATS or 5M. I want to get some 5M in. I haven't played it in like a week now. Let me get around this tree. Alright, we'll get around that tree and I'll head back over this way. Perfect. Mowing grass like a pro, guys. And here goes my buddy's house. A fellow law enforcement officer with his Jeep Wrangler. That's good to hear, uh, the Gamer for Life. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate you coming by. Got Andreas in the house. Shout out to Andreas. So we're, n we're almost done, to be honest. We are almost done. Sorry guys, I had to take a drink. But yeah, we're not too far from being done. Um, give me one second. Yeah, Brant's doing a patrol, I would love to. But if not, we could, I'd probably get ATS done and also hop in uh, Farming Simulator 19, get some more of that done. Look at that sexy Jeep Wrangler right there. You know the crazy part is, so since I work at a dealership, the police, a lot of police uh, agencies that work, that like work around us, the agencies around us, uh, they like coming to our dealership and buying brand new cars from us. And um, so this, this police uh, agency came and bought an actual Jeep Wrangler to use as their police vehicle. And it's freaking awesome. I never thought in real life I would actually see that, but it, it did happen. It was last year when it happened. But they, they, like, most of their uh, patrol areas are, like, out in the country. And, I mean, I kind of understand why they did it. God, we are basically done with this big old part of the field. I'm going to get along the side of this guy's house. Actually, we're just going to go around the house. I would get the stand behind, but... I think I might have to get the stand behind. Alright, we'll get the stand behind and get the, around the rest of his house. I don't want to blow the grass up against his house. So let me turn my mower off. I'll go ahead and cut across right here. And i got to finish up behind this house. Alright, let's turn our blades back on. And we'll continue on right here. So I'll finish up this side of the house, then we'll head over there to that house. And uh, we'll finish up over there. And it'll be a job well done. So you guys let me know in the chat, in the comments, how much you think you would charge to mow this much grass for two houses. I'm not too sure how many acres this is. Maybe one and a half. Maybe one, really. But how much would you guys charge? The grass is overgrown. Looks like it's been a while since someone's cut it. Didn't fix my line. There we go. I'm gonna get around this tree real fast. All right, another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go fix this line right here, up here on the hill. Take one nice little path all the way down it just to make a straight line. Now wrap around this tree. Perfect. Oh, let me straighten it out. It's kind of hard doing this on keyboard and mouse. Not the easiest. Alright, and there we got a straight line along the hill. So it doesn't look like a bunch of zigzags I'm trying to trying to be professional around here. All 
Alright, it won't be too long and then we'll be done with this uh, mansion right here in front of me. Is that yellow? That house is bright. George Stewart, how you doing, man? You charge $100? All right, Andreas, I appreciate you coming by, man. Shout out to Andreas. I definitely wouldn't be charging no 100 bucks. I'd probably be charging maybe 100 each. That's if you want to give them a good deal. But to be honest, this is like the amount of grass that we're mowing right here, the wear and tear on our blades with the, how tall it is, I'd charge extra. Not too sure how much I would charge, but granted, I am not a professional uh, lawn care person, but I'd say this would be like a, I'd, yeah, I'd definitely say this would be like a 200 plus dollar job. This would be like, I, I'd probably charge them like 235 bucks to do all this. And that's one reason is because the grass is just so long. And that'll probably be for like the first mo. If if they like hired me on to continue on every week to come by and cut their grass, and I could keep it at that certain length, and no, I don't have to mow tall grass all the time, uh, then I could lower that price for them. But when you start getting in tall grass, it starts wearing down on your blades, um, wears down on your equipment. Then you got to sharpen your blades up and all that good stuff. And then also another thing that when, when it's tall grass, it also kills the look of what you're doing. Because, I mean, when it's taller grass, you tend to miss grass um, just because it's taller and you're already cutting up a lot of grass. So you end up leaving patches and stuff. And that kind of hurts your business because... If you don't go back and get them patches, then it's going to look bad, bad on you and no one's going to want to, like, you know what I mean, use you as the person that cuts their grass. Did I get along the driveway next to my ramp? No. All right, let me fix this. I don't want to blow the grass onto um, their driveway, so I'm going to turn my blades off. And we'll go around their Lamborghini right here. Definitely don't want to hit that. And I'll go down here towards the end of the driveway and we'll push it all to the right. Perfecto. Just like so. I gotta do one thing. Um, where is that? Measuring area unit. Field info off. It has to be right here. Traffic dirt. There we go. Sorry, I had to do that real fast. I don't want my grass growing faster than when I'm mowing it. I will do that and turn my mower off. I'm going to head back to the other side of the driveway and we're just going to do one more line. That boy Panda in the house, what is up, man? Appreciate you coming by. I'm going to do one more line along this. I already did one line pushing all the grass over here to the right um, but if I would have just went and went right back down um, that line right there 
then I would have just blew the grass back over there to the driveway. So now I have enough room to push my grass over to the right without getting it into the driveway. If you guys know what I mean. You definitely don't want to put stuff in the driveway. Um, I mean, it's just stuff that you got to go back and do. And no one wants to cause more work for themselves. Dylan, how you doing, man? I appreciate you coming by. Really appreciate you coming by. Shout out to that boy, Panda. George Stewart, Andreas, the gamer for life. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. Coming by and watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Let's get some mowing done today. We did logging. Um, we'll probably do some snow plowing here soon. Me, Andreas, and we'll probably get some more people in there. So the last stream that we did, login, we had, we had like four people in there. We had quite a bit of people in there. I'm going to try to straighten out my lines. They're not straight. They're at a curve with the driveway. So I'm going to straighten out my lines real fast. This won't be too hard. Oh, God. I don't want to fall off the cliff. All right, so I got my line straight. I'm just going to have to cut this patch up right here. Perfect. I love these Xmark mowers. They're amazing. Got the 72-inch deck on it. Right, that's one hell of a cut. Damn, I should have just bought me a damn tractor and did it with a tractor. That's how big this yard is. I'm trying to download this big old map. And it has a highway on it. I'm trying to do like what highway like city workers do. And mow grass. I think that would be pretty cool. Alright, I got that patch of grass. Got our line straight. Let me go ahead and do the outline of this right here so I don't fly down this freaking cliff right here and the property line ends over there I don't know why I came all the way over here where do you say it was right here alright his property line ends right here at this tree it's right here so we're almost done with this dude's grass so let's go ahead and continue over here we'll finish up the rest of this dude's grass and then we'll head over here and take care of that guy's grass it shouldn't be too long got my sexy old truck sitting over there sitting next to a Lamborghini too though we are almost done I say about three or four more lines and uh, we should be done with this guy's yard the rest of the property over there is owned by that house over there that blue one that you see over there to the left of us so the property extends all the way back here so yep like three, maybe three more lines and we'll be done with this guy's grass. And it's looking amazing too. Check it out. It is really looking amazing. The house really stands out. That thing's a mansion. That thing is a freaking mansion. Pay attention to the grass. back up I say once we go down all the way down I said one more line after that we're done with this guy's grass and I gotta get my stand behind 
And we gotta head over there to that red house. And um, I'm actually gonna load my equipment up. And we're gonna go ahead over to his house and get out of these people's driveway. Nope. Yep, we got one more line after this one. <laughs> Almost done. Crap, if I owned all this land right here, I'd build something. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd make like a, I'd buy me a dirt bike or a four-wheeler. And I, oh, hold on, hold on. There's a patch. Not no more. Saw that patch out of the corner of my eye. Um, I'd build me like a little track back here. You know how fun that would be? I mean, you already got like a mountain right here that you could climb. Build like a little track over here. So we are done with this house right here. Perfecto. We did it, guys. Time to move on to the next one. Let me turn my uh, blades off. I just throw this up on there. All right, we'll throw this up on there. Just like so. Hop off of that. Let me grab my stand behind. We'll go ahead and load this up on there, and then we'll head over to his house. I just don't want to be in their driveway no more in case they got people coming. Come on, baby. Fire up. Got the 48-inch 48, 48 deck on the stand behind. Pull this up here. A pain in the butt to pull up there. You got to line it up. There we go. Perfect. All right, top of their sexy ram right there. All right, let's say goodbye to their uh, beautiful house right here. Top in this. And just like so, we are out of here. Let me back up without pulling into their grass. There we go. All right, so we are done with that grass. It looks amazing. You guys think that looks amazing? Smash that like button. I mean, we did a great job. I wish we could actually cut it where it looks smooth, um, but that's the best that we could do with these mowers. So I'm not complaining. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of here. God, that's a steep driveway right here. Alright, let's go ahead and head up this driveway. I'm going to pull up right on his vehicle. And let's hop out of this sexy beast right here. Got the Jeep Wrangler Please vehicle. Check it out. That is freaking awesome. All right, let's go ahead and unload. Put my ramps down. Oh. All right, there we go. So let me get my stand behind. I am going to get the outline of his house done. And then we'll go ahead and grab the zero turn. Looks amazing, though. Let's go ahead and pull this baby off. And I'm gonna go ahead and get around this house. Let's get around the front porch right here. God, he really let his grass grow out too. It's so much better when you're in first person on the stand behind. Cause it's, it makes it that much easier to mow. I can actually like get right up on stuff. Get 
It's harder to do this with the zero turn. No, try, I'm trying not to like damage his property because I don't want to pay for it. So I'm trying to stay away from the house. There we go. Along the house right here. I wish I could actually use the weed eaters that are on my trailer. That would be awesome. section right here. Definitely want to be able to fit my zero turn in here. Let's get around here. Watch out for his porch. Right, try to whip it left right here. Perfect. Perfecto. All right, we got to round the house. Let me get this last little bit right here. I'm going to go around the house one more time. Just to widen up our uh, outline. So it makes it easier for my zero turn to maneuver. So if I put it too close to like the porch and everything, it's just going to make it harder for me on my zero turn to maneuver. And I don't want to make anything harder on myself. Trying to hurry up and get this done and make my money. Perfecto. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my zero turn. Go ahead and park this up over here. He's got a nice house, too. I got like the red and white houses. It's an amazing color. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the zero turn off. Been mowing grass for an hour now. Yeah, I wish some weed eaters on the trailer would actually work. Just come over here and grab one. I wonder if I could. Can I? No. That would be awesome, though. Alright, let's go ahead and back this baby off. We'll get this grass mowed. And we'll go ahead and uh, call it quits. Been a long day. I gotta get my equipment back over to the back over to my um, shed so we have to drop that off you guys that are just joining us can see the rest of my equipment now I'm gonna head over to my house in this game you guys can see my house and right, so let's go ahead and mow this little bit right here and we'll get around to the back side of the house perfect and you guys see how I said I was going to widen up my outline? Now my uh, zero turn can maneuver when I'm coming up close to the house. Man, let me straighten this back up. Alright, here we go. Keep heading up this way. Go around the tree right here. And we'll finish up on his backyard, get to his front yard, and we will be done. I gotta say, it's peaceful mowing. So it's really easy. It's a lot of fun. Just the equipment, the Z return don't sound the best. I'm gonna hurry up and finish this baby up. So over there, it looks like he said something like they replaced his grass. Um, so he had Todd um, laid down because all of his grass was dead over there. Um, so we don't have to cut over there. So that's good. Let's hurry up and get his backyard done. So 
He has a pretty big backyard. We've been here since like, I don't even know what time we started. It was like seven something. So we've been here for like over two hours and FS19 time. So it's not too bad. A couple hours of work to make a uh, couple hundred dollars. It's not too bad. Almost done with his backyard. His front yard will be done with in no time. When we get back on the road and uh, yeah, it's been a nice little trip. His yard's looking amazing now. Just trying to keep my straight lines going. I don't want to do all zigzags and stuff, make it look like crap. Because how you run a lawn care business, it's all word of mouth. People see what you do, they drive past, they're like, hey, who did your lawn care? And the people that you did it for is like, oh, so and so did it, you call them. And then they start calling you, and then you get more business. Which lawn care, getting in the lawn care business is not easy because there's so many people doing it. It's like, it's hard to make a lawn care business when everybody is in the business. So, I mean, the best thing that you could do is possibly lower your prices uh, to get that customer base so you know that you have customers, like, give out the lowest prices around. Enough where you can still make a living off of it, um, but enough where the, you gain customers. Then once you get that customer base, you raise your prices up for your new customers. So your old customers, you keep them at the same price and possibly give them a notice. Like, hey, next year I might raise the price up five, ten bucks. And hopefully they'll work with it. But that's how you do it. Especially if you're starting out. Oh, God, I just straight messed that whole line up. Hey, I appreciate it, the gamer for life. Really appreciate it. You have a great day yourself, brother. Let's try to get get over this hump day tomorrow. I forgot today was Tuesday. I thought it was Monday. That's how messed up my week is. I even started the stream like, hey, hopefully you guys are having a great Monday. I had to correct myself, like, oh, hold up, it's Tuesday. Alright, let's take a straight line all the way through here. And here we are, we're working on his front yard now. And the hardest part is going to be up here around these trees. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. Uh, it's continuing with a straight line all the way down. And, uh, yeah, this should be done in, like, I say about five minutes. Just got to keep it pushing. Yeah, this is where you have the fresh grass laid down. I really don't want to drive on it, but I got to turn around. Looking amazing though. That outline right here. Go over here and go around this tree. And we'll go back along that path that we were just coming along. Just like so. I really don't want to go down this hill. So I'm going to try to be careful about it. Perfect. There we go. That's perfect. Right, let me finish the side over here, and then we'll get his uh, front yard done, and we should be uh, out of here. 
Gamer for Light Dylan Garrison, how you doing? You been hunting for deer? Last time I went deer hunting, I got in a tree with a shotgun. I saw a deer try to shoot it, and I fell out of the tree. That was the end of my hunting career. I gave up. I was like, it's not meant for me. God don't want me to kill these creatures. <laughs> yeah, I literally fell out of the tree, and it hurt. It hurt bad. I, I, I think I was more embarrassed, but I'll tell you this much, it hurt. I was like, boom, and I just straight, I fell straight back. And then I tried to go bow hunting, and um, yeah, so I used the bow, and when I used the bow, um, I was trying to shoot out a deer, and I missed it with three of the bows, and my um, brother's friend that gave us the bow um, told us that we needed to go find the arrows, and I didn't find the arrows, <laughs> and come to find out the arrows were $15 a piece. So yeah, I, I gave that career up too. I can't afford that. <laughs> I cannot afford that. $15 a piece. So you have like the arrows that go inside and then they open up. Which I know a lot of people don't like that, but that's the kind of bow that he had, or the arrows. And yeah, they were $15 a piece. He told me how to pay for them. I was like, I never want to do this again. It's absolutely crazy. Now this dude really does have a big yard. Holy moly. I'm almost done now. It's not too bad. You know you're close to done. You just ramp it up just a little bit take it up to that um, rabbit because you know on the mowers you got the you got the turtle and then you got the rabbit and I don't have access to that land so at least it's telling me what land I don't own I mean I don't own any of this land but it's telling me where to stop and where not to go so that's cool Yo, we are almost done though. Like an hour of mowing. This is just on farming simulator. It's just crazy. I'm just trying to do it the best that I can. Which uh, I believe his property line ends at them trees right there. So I'm just trying to hurry up and get over them trees. Then we'll finish up his front yard, which would take no time at all. Could you imagine having this big of a yard though? Something you gotta mow every single week. Nope, his property line ends right here. Like I I am on his property line. I guess we could still cut out some of this. Get this tall grass over here. See how much further we can go. I don't know where it's going to tell us to stop. I think I can still push over to the trees. But I think once I get further up here, it tells me I can. Yep, right here. I'm going to turn around right here. And that's where it end, ends. That's where his property line ends. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get to the front of his house and let's get out of here. Working our butts off today. Look at that beautiful house though. It's going to look so much better with fresh cut grass. Like this is where I'd have my family reunion at. All this damn land right here. Set up a volleyball court, like a little volleyball uh, thing out in the field. Set up some tents, get some barbecue going. Just, mm, mm, mm. Have a lot of fun. Oh, God. 
back up right here. We are almost done, though. And I know I've been saying this, but we are literally almost done. I'm about to load my truck up, and we're about to head out of here. Go put our equipment up. Show you guys the Dodge Demon before I get out of here. And uh, then we'll have to head over to the house. Uh, head over to the house. Show you guys my house. Which I'm using Ravenport. This is default. This is what you guys get on console. I like using it because you guys can, um, for you guys that are on console, you guys can relate to this map. Which I need to do a plowing video on this map. Plow some snow on it. So I know people on consoles are still waiting for seasons. But even with the seasons, hold on, what you say? Yeah, you sit on a deer stand. Yeah, I was sitting on a deer stand in a tree. And yeah, it, it didn't end well. I fell out of that tree. The deer was probably laughing at me. Probably went to his friends like, hey man, I almost got shot today, but there was this retard. Shoot, <laughs> there was this retard hunter. That was a loud boom too, from the shotgun and my body hitting the ground. It's like boom, boom. <laughs> God, we are almost done. Look at this. A couple more lines, and we are out of here. Let's gotta get down here by the road before I leave. I'm gonna turn around. I right, will get this last little patch right here. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how we do it around here. Let me go down to the end of the driveway. I'll get all the long grass over there. Four point bug today, nice. That is nice. Let me get along this uh, road right here. I know it's the county's uh, job, but customer requested that we did it for him. We get out of the bushes. Perfecto. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Let me turn my blades off. That's what you call a job well done, guys did a great job on this lawn. All right, let me load up and let me get my uh, equipment over to the shed. Perfecto. Gonna grab this. We'll load this one up here and then we'll uh, get out of here. Then we're some big lawns right there. I'll tell you that much. That was a lot of time. It's still AM time in uh, FS19. So we started out like 7, ending at 9. So it wasn't too bad. It took an uh, hour and 8 minutes for us in, on the stream. So let's check out this uh, Wrangler real fast. Let's go check out the lights. Got the lights. The inside looks amazing too. Alright, let me go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and get in our truck. Let me raise the ramps up. And it's time to head out of here. I don't want to pull in his grass. I think we're going to have to. Not by much, though. I don't want to jackknife it. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's head out of here. We'll get over to our shed. It's looking amazing, though. Got all that grass cut. Wish I had a car wash. I need to wash my damn mowers off. Let's make a left. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Now that was fun. I'll tell you that much. It's relaxing cutting grass. So much more grass that needs cut though. I gotta cut my grass over here on my uh, on my shed, and I gotta cut my grass at my house. I was, oh, hashtag that did not happen. 
Whoops. Alright, let's get over here. We'll unload everything. I kind of messed my zero turn up. And let me open the garage up. Let me back this damn thing up. Is it going to back up? I accidentally hit that pole one. Yeah, it didn't go right. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, good enough. Alright, let me open the garage up. And... I'm going to go ahead and put my trailer up. Try not to hit my other Ram truck. I'm going to park this in the corner where we got it from. Go ahead and drop that right there. Go ahead and pull this up next to my other Ram. But we still got a couple of other X marks over there. Just for when we get multiplayer going. Or you got the equipment set up. All right, let me set this big baby right here. Perfect. Oh, there goes our sexy Ram 2500. Got our uh, police Dodge demon right here. Got the Dodge demon. This thing is sexy right here. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and unload this right here, and we're gonna head back over to my house. So let's get over to my house. I'm gonna close the garage up, lock everything up. And uh, we'll call it a day. It's still early in the morning for us. But we got our patrol done. We did a night patrol. And uh, we got our mowing done. So. Alright. Let's head over to the house. This truck looks amazing with the all black. I love it. Alright. So we'll head over to the house. I'll park my truck up. And uh. Take it from there. I just ran the stop sign. Whoops. See, I gotta mow my grass. Let me back up in my driveway. Oh, my wife's home. Yep, I gotta mow my grass. That thing is getting tall. I gotta be a lawn care person. I came and mow my own damn grass. Let me park up right here. Perfect. Well, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, please smash that like button. If you guys are loving this Ram 2500, make sure you guys smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. We had a lot of fun. A uh, shout out to everybody that came by and watched. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. See you guys on the next one. Um, and uh, we will be doing a stream tomorrow. So I don't know if we're doing plowing, logging or what or ATS I'm not too sure but there will be a stream out tomorrow um, we'll also be getting LSPD of Fire Patrol going um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and end it here I appreciate you all coming by and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one peace <laughs>